welcome, beautiful, to the Creating Change podcast with Emma Bradford. Creating change to fall back in love with ourselves and life. Each episode, I'll be offering insightful stories, concepts, and practical takeaways to inspire your day, reconnecting to the authentic essence within. Are you ready, lovely, to embrace yourself even more and awaken to the magic life has to offer? Let's dive into today's episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of Creating Change with Emma Bradford. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about a topic that came up in a recent conversation with a family member. We were talking about the power of hearing ourselves and holding ourselves and also allowing ourselves to receive that from others. So whenever we're feeling low, we're going through challenging times, It's very common to want to seek out support from others for some people. And for other people, they tend to hide themselves away in a bubble and not allow themselves to receive support from others. So it's really about finding this balance. So let's talk about holding and hearing. So to hear and to hold the power of that to hear ourselves, to sit still, to notice the emotions that lie within us, to notice what our body is communicating, what it needs, what it wants nutritionally, what it is looking for in terms of exercise, rest as well. So allowing ourselves to hear those messages, the body's constantly communicating with us. This is a wonderful thing. Not only do our emotions communicate to us, our body also does to our physical body. Slowing down, this is one of the keys, it's all about slowing down, slowing down and allowing ourselves to connect to what is my body communicating to me? What does it want? Hearing that, slowing down enough to hear that. What does my emotional body want? Slowing down enough to hear that, to hear the emotions within. And to hold that, to bring that loving tenderness to ourselves. So you might have heard me talk about in previous episodes, placing a hand on our heart and saying to ourselves, I'm here. I see you. I hear you, I feel you, I'm here. Saying that to our heart, the emotions that we feel, and to our body, to ourselves. This is a wonderful, powerful, empowering exercise that we can do where we're really creating self-responsibility, accepting self-responsibility and holding and hearing ourselves. This is a wonderful skill to have. And sometimes we do actually need to receive from others too. Human beings, we're social creatures. Connection is so important. And opening up to receiving, allowing ourselves to receive from others, whether that's from friends, family, partner, or a professional, allowing ourselves to be heard and held can be such a wonderful gift especially during challenging times when we're going through a breakup or we're grieving or through health issues or big transitions in our lives, having some extra support and help with that can really be such a gift. So we can allow ourselves to open up and receive. We can ask ourselves, Am I open to receiving from others? Am I open to receiving support from others? If not, what's preventing me? What's preventing me from receiving support from others? Some people have no issue asking for support. Sometimes they ask for support from others more than they actually give to themselves. Sometimes people place a lot of expectations on the other 
to fix everything for them without themselves doing anything. And some people are the opposite. They really struggle with actually opening up and being vulnerable and allowing themselves to be held and heard by others. So just noticing where you lie on that spectrum, I mean, it doesn't mean to be set in stone. Sometimes it can change day to day or month to month or in different situations. It's just noticing how open are you to being held and heard by others. And does that feel good for you? Do you want more or less? Do you need to find some balance there? And also noticing the other side of the equation is how much do we hear and hold others? Are we giving way too much to others and forgetting ourselves? Or do we struggle with that? Do we find it challenging to support others? Do we not know how? Are we not fully present in conversation? Are we distracted or do we have our attention elsewhere. When someone is opening up and sharing with us and they're looking to be held and heard, are we able to provide that? And how can we do that in a way that is healthy? That we're not doing everything for the other, we're not fixing things for the other, that we're allowing them to have their experience, yet we're also simply just showing this loving presence, this tenderness. So these are just some thoughts and a few questions. And this is something that you can continue to reflect on in your own time is how much you're hearing and holding yourself. How much are you hearing and holding others? Is that balance healthy for you? Is there one you're doing more or less than the other? And how can you shift that and change that if it needs to change? And are you allowing yourself to be heard and held by others? Allowing yourself to receive. There's a wonderful phrase by Peter Kelly. She talks about self-love and what self-love really is and the difference between self-care and self-love. Self-care are all the actions that we do amongst many things. And self-love is our ability to receive the benefits from those actions. So, for example, self-care can be taking a moment to enjoy a nice massage or it can be taking ourselves for a, a wonderful walk in nature or it can be cooking a wonderful meal for ourselves, a nutritious meal. And self-love is allowing ourselves to be fully present with that and receive that. So these are a few thoughts about feeling heard and held. And I encourage you to really look at how you can fill that up even more for yourself. Hearing yourself. What does your body and your emotional body, what do they want to communicate to you now? What can you hear? And even if you don't hear anything, can you simply just be present? This loving tenderness, create some space, some stillness. Holding yourself with this tenderness, placing your hand over your heart and simply saying, I'm here. Try that, notice what changes, let me know. I love to hear your feedback on this. If you found this episode useful, do share this with a friend. Every share makes such a huge difference. And thank you so much for listening. Sending you all my love. Thank you so much for listening to this episode, Beautiful. You're amazing. All resources and links can be found on my website, www.emmabradford.net link is in the show description. Do come and join my community and share your takeaways from this episode. I'd really love to hear. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time, I wonder, what magic will you experience in life today?